Hello everyone, today we'll be exploring UDIM support inside of Ryzen Labs Unfold 3D Virtual Spaces. First, in Maya, uh, we want to ensure that all the groups are set up to take advantage of the file data selection inside of Unfold 3D. Now we can export this out as an OBJ, and now when we have Unfold 3D open, we're going to load in our UV. And this mesh, I already have a basic UV layout. Um, you could do this inside of Unfold 3D. You could do this inside of another package, but uh, I'm just getting a, a basic layout to work with for this. Now, uh, the multi-tile option is on the bottom right here. If it's collapsed, you may need to expand it. And we can set the number of UV, uh, UDIMs we want to use. And now with um, auto fit set on, keep average set on, um, and you know pretty standard settings. Let's try a pack And as you can see it laid out the entire mesh UVs inside of these four U dims um, This already is pretty great uh, But let's say we want to have a little bit more control over our U dims Let's just undo this so I think the first thing that maybe we want to do is put one part of this mesh in its own UDIM. And let's just work with two for this example. Um, so we have two shells here. So let's go to the file selection. And then let's say we want the, um, want the main body. Um, let's go to F4 to select. Let's say we want all this main body in one UDIM, and then we want the rest packed in another. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all these. We're going to control shift middle click into here. And then what we can do is we only want to pack this tile right now. We do not want to pack this tile yet. And actually, let's select the the other part of the main body as well and move that over. So now we have this over here. We have this over here. Let's click this tile 1002. And let's press pack. So what this has done is this pa this has packed this all together, and it hasn't touched this at all. Now we want to try to pack this other tile. So what we want to do is we want to select this tile, and to deselect, you can press this X. We want to select the tile. We want to go to transform lock, and then we want to press the X button again. So you can see this has a black outline, which tells us, tells the program that it is locked and we do not want to have, uh, have this affected by the pack. Now if we press the pack button again, the rest of the mesh is packed. And obviously if you're doing this pack for your final, you may want to set up some margin and some spacing, but for this tutorial, um, I'm not going to go into that. So this pack looks pretty nice, but if we click this mesh and we pick this texel density, and then we grab this mesh and we pick this textile density. Uh, fortunately, these actually have ended up pretty close. However, there may be cases where you fill up this whole island very well, um, and then this one doesn't have as much um, UVs to handle. And with the auto fit, it's going to expand that to fill the entire shell. So let's show that with the four. So now with this locked, we're going to press the pack button. Okay, so now you can see it scaled up these and laid them out here because of the auto fit feature. So now, when we took the textile density of this one, again, uh, is 0 0.0078, and then let's pick this density. And now this density, they're weight they're uh, very different from one another. This one is 0 0.0132. So obviously when you get back in your modeling package and you start texturing, the density won't match up. Um, and that's not going to be good if you want to maintain an e uh, even density across the entire mesh. So in order to solve this, what we will do is under this initial scale, 
we want to have a specified scale. So let's grab this piece, let's do specified, and let's press pick. So now you can see the initial scale of all of these UVs, other than the locked UVs, will be 0 0.0078. Now, when we press the pack button, it's going to scale these down, but as you can see, it's scaling them back up. And that's because if you hover over this, um, or hover over initial scale, um, the auto fit, what it's doing is it's blowing the UVs back up to fit the UV shell. So what we want to do is turn this auto fit off and press the pack again. And now you can see that if we pick this texel density and we pick this, they're both point zero zero seven eight. So this is a great way uh, to ensure that the texel density is even across the entire mesh. Obviously we're wasting a lot of UV space here so we might not want to use four tiles. So again, we can bring these back in here. And we can bring these back in here. And we can run another pack. And in this case, I did not um, uh, get rid of these other two tiles, so it's packing them in them again. So let me turn this down to one. So now we only have two tiles. And now when I pack, it's using that initial density and it's uh, packing them together. The only issue with this, uh, if you don't have auto fit on, is that it's overlapping into here because we told it not to rescale it and we wanted it a very specific texel density. So in this case, um, it may be better to turn specified off and just keep the average and then turn on auto fit again. Uh, because earlier when we when we looked at it, the texel density was very, very close to one another. So now, when we press pack again, it packed it, and you saw it went a little over, and then it rescaled it all together. Uh, in addition, what we can do is we can always use groups in, inside of UDIMS. So uh, just the same as in the groups tutorial, if you select um, any group here and you group it together, it'll do that group in here, um, and then it'll pack uh, like normal. So anyways, if you want to go back here, you can unlock it, um, and then you could pack again, but that will, um, you know, that'll pack both of them at the same time. Anyways, it's a short tutorial on UDIMS. Hope this helped.